In the past, have Google translated Minecraft mobs 100 times, 1000 times, and even 10,000 times, but I've never translated anything else in Minecraft, which is why today I'm going to be Google translating every Minecraft item 1000 times. Okay, maybe not every item because there's a lot of them, but we'll start with the armor. Head. Yeah, that's where the helmet goes. I ended up drawing a messed up looking Bruh. face, and for the actual helmet, I copied it on the front and added some hair on all the other sides. Honestly, I think this helmet looks really good. There is nothing wrong with it. Next, let's do a chest plate. I don't know why it keeps giving me body parts. I decided to just draw an arm because that's what it said. I then copied the arm over top of the chest plate and made absolutely no effort to make it fit. Even though I did that, I somehow got the arms in the right place. Not really sure why they're so big though. Next I made the leggings and I got rubber. I could have colored the pants rubber color but instead I turned it into a rubber duck because I'm a duck. I then drew a duck's face in a questionable area of the pants and colored the rest yellow. These are the pants in game, let me know if you would cough. For the boots I got boat so I literally just copy pasted a boat on top of the boots. I then made the actual boots boat colored. This is probably the most normal piece of armor I made even though it shows up as a boat in my inventory. The shield is kind of armor so I translated the shield. This is a mystery. Because it's a mystery I just deleted the shield texture completely. It turns out you can't delete textures though and it just made the shield all black. Alright now that I've made the shield I have a full armor set. Guys let me know if you would wear this. Next I'm going to be translating some ores. I am a tree. I drew a tree body and added some leaves on top and then I gave it a smiley face because the tree is alive. Next I translated an emerald. Monagan? Monagon? I don't know what that is. Apparently Monagan is a place in Ireland so I drew a four leaf clover because that's Irish or something. Guys never let me draw a clover again. For iron I got iron pot so I just drew a pot which basically looks like a big bucket so I added some handles on the side so you can tell the difference. Next I made gold and I got turned down. I didn't know what to do for this one so I just made a road sign but put a down arrow instead. I don't know what roads you can turn down on, but that's not my problem. Next I translated a netherite ingot, which isn't technically an ore, but it's an ingot so whatever. I got bad netherite, so I gave it an arm holding a knife with an unspecified red liquid on it, and then I gave him two angry eyes with an upside down smile. After that I decided to start a hardcore series. Okay guys, so I did some mining off camera, now I think it's time to build a house. Yo, edit this part out. Alright, now that the house is done, we're going to build a giant ring of biomes around it. I also translated some other ores, so here are those quickly. This is a copper ingot as a suitcase. This is redstone as blackstone. This is lapis as onyx stone. Okay, I think I made the wrong type of onyx. This is Japanese coal. And finally, this is amethyst as a person. Also, I know amethyst isn't an ore, I just thought it fit here. Now that we've translated some ores, we need something to mine them with, so let's make some tools. Okay, we got certify. I decided to draw one of those certificates that they give out at school for good grades or something, and then I added this line which is the text, and I put one of those sticker things in the corner. It kinda looks like I'm holding a hammer. Honestly, I'm surprised my pickaxe still works now that it's made out of paper. Next I did the sword. Okay, we got sword, but big. For this one, I decided to make a really fat sword because I didn't really know what else to do. Guys, rate my sword from 1 to 10. You'd think you would do more damage because it's bigger, I give it a 0. Next I translated the axe, and it just translated to ah. For this one I wanted to make the axe yelling so I added a mouth on the front and then I gave the axe a large tongue and finally I gave it an eye which has nothing to do with yelling I just wanted to do it. I can understand why the axe is yelling, I would be too if someone kept slamming me against a tree. For the shovel I got spade, and a shovel is a spade so I made the thing from the cards instead. Okay this looks terrible. Instead of adding it to the top of the shovel I just drew the spade instead and it ended up looking much better. This thing would actually look kind of cool if it was a weapon, but it's just a shovel so it's useless to me. Next I translated the hoe. Okay, I got Adam's hat. Who is Adam? I looked up Adam's hat and found someone wearing a yellow hat, so I tried to make a yellow hat, but it was hard because tools are usually made sideways. The only reason this looks like a hat is because I know it's a hat. I am also not Adam, so I have to throw this away, I'm not allowed to have it. Next I made some things that are technically tools. For the bow I got plastic bags, so I made a plastic bag. That's it. Next I did a crossbow and it said rainbow, so I added a rainbow gradient over the crossbow 5 times for all the phases. The crossbow looked normal when I shot it, but I can't say the same for the regular bow. For flint and steel I got stone and iron, and that is basically what flint and steel is, so I decided to replace the flint with a stone block and the steel with an iron ingot to literally make it stone and iron. For shears I ended up getting there for. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just turned the shears into a mouth and gave it a tongue and one angry eye. The reason I did this was because people might say therefore in an argument, so he's meant to look like he's arguing. Now for the final tool I made a fishing rod and I got Midan? Midan? 
I couldn't figure out what my dan meant, so I looked it up and saw this picture from a restaurant, so I decided to make the plate with the food on it. I even made it so when I cast the fishing rod, the plate empties. Bruh. Isn't that cool? For the next category, we're going to be translating some foods. First, I did steak, and I got meat. I'm pretty sure steak is meat, so I decided to color it a weird color and add a question mark so it's mystery meat instead. Would you eat this? It kind of just looks like bread with a question mark. Next, I translated an apple, and I got lake. I added a big pool of water, and then I drew this boat with a big red flag in the middle. I will not be taste testing this one because my mom told me not to drink the lake water when I was younger. For chicken, I got you cannot, so I just put a big red X over the chicken, meaning I can no longer eat. It. Next, I translated bread, and I got a piece of bread, so I turned it into a slice of bread and put a nice patch of butter in the top corner. For cake, I got pockets, so I made the cake into the shape of pants, and then I gave it two pockets. I kind of forgot that cake is a block, so really the only one I can eat is a slice of bread. It tastes really good, the yellow part really gives it flavor. Next I made a cookie and I got dirt, so I just cut the shape of a cookie out of dirt. My mom also told me not to eat dirt, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's in the shape of a cookie. For the golden carrot, I got a golden beginning, so I made a certificate again because that was the first thing I made in this video. Now for the final food item, I translated the golden apple. Okay, we got liver. I decided to just draw a liver, which is somehow the most normal food out of all of these. Alright, liver taste test. In game, not actually. I would never eat that. Wow, it actually gives me a lot of potion effects. Maybe the liver king was right. Alright, now that I've done some foods, it's time to translate a bunch of random items. The first item is the totem, which translated to down the totem pole. For this one, I just made a totem pole, which was kind of hard to do when it's this small. But it doesn't look that bad when you hold it, or when you die, so that's cool. Next, I translated the ender pearl, and I got a Japanese word, which translated to shell. It turns out I have no idea how to draw a shell, and I'm not even sure if I got the color right, because I was I was thinking of the Bruh. gas station. For the eye of ender, I got I do not know, so I cut the shape of a question mark out of the original texture. This is how it looks when I throw both of these, if you wanted to know. For egg, I got in bed, so I drew a red Minecraft bed around the egg as if it was sleeping. This kind of looks like one of those egg drop projects, so let's see if it works. Nope, the egg still broke. Next, I made a snowball, and I got viburnum, which apparently is a plant that looks like this. I drew some leaves around it and then turned it yellow to match the little white things on the plant. Next, I made an arrow, and it didn't seem too happy with me, so I just drew an angry face. For a bucket, it translated to two with a quotation mark, which sounds the same as the number, so I copy-pasted another bucket beside it so there was two buckets. Next, I made the water bucket, and I got a glass of water, so I drew a wine glass around the water and added a little spill on top because it was overflowing. Finally, I translated a lava bucket and got room, so I decided to make a 2D picture of the back rooms. Placing the back rooms on the ground and having it turn into two buckets looks quite interesting, but honestly, I kind of like the back rooms art. Not the buckets, though. This sucks. For the final category, I decided to make some items that come from the nether in the end. First, I translated nether wart. Okay. I don't know who was released, but it doesn't sound good, so I drew some iron bars around the nether wart and made the ones in the middle look like they were broken and the nether wart is escaping. Next, I made a blaze rod and got this. I decided to make a night sky with some thumbnail colored grass in the bottom, and then I added some stars, and finally I added the sun instead of the moon. For the gas tier, I got there is nothing wrong with yelling. Why are these so scary all of a sudden? I drew a man with an exclamation mark coming out of his mouth to show that he's yelling, and then I put a green check mark over it, showing that it's okay. Next, I made a potion and got house or tent. It's nice that it's giving me options. I decided to just make a little house, and I gave it a door with two windows, which looked like eyes and a mouth. Great, now you can't tell what any of the potions are without reading them. Also, I like how the man yelling is in the top left. It's a true work of art. I made a few more nether items, but don't feel like showing them, so here's a nether brick as a name tag with a cool and original name on it. Here's a netherite scrap as low sodium. Next, we have quartz as a low res emoji holding up a thank you heart. And finally, we have a fire charge pointing at you. Now that we've done the nether, it's time to do the end, and there aren't that many items in the end, so first I made a chorus fruit. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll that one. That's better. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just colored it purple because product color, I guess. Next, I made an elytra and got little wing. For this one, I just made one of the wings smaller. And I made both of them small on the model because it turns out you can't edit the wings separately. Next, I did dragon's breath and I got this is a dangerous city. Apparently, Tijuana is the most dangerous city in the world, so I'm going to draw a picture of it. First, I added a road in the bottom corner, and then I added this arch and a couple of palm trees. After that, I added some buildings behind them, and finally, I added some water and some sky in the sky. For the final item, I made an end crystal, and I got crystal structure. I decided to make the crystal smaller and put it on top of a building. I even added some windows so you can really tell it's a building. Now, you might have noticed that an end crystal is also technically a block, but it's the end of the video, so I'm scamming you by not making it. It is definitely not because I have no idea how to turn this into a building. Subscribe before 600k, I don't have an outro.